in this lecture we are going to learn about a concept known as virtualization so this is a very hot topic in operating system today so you hear about zen vmware and so on and everyone is in the race to win the virtualization business okay so what is virtualization virtualization the meaning is something that is virtual okay which is something different but it's looking virtually something else okay virtualization deals with extending an existing interface so as to mimic the another system okay so let's try to see so it is something like i want so it's something an interface it, it kind of provide one interface after which what happens is that the user here sees this system as something different okay that's the thing so virtual system examples are virtual private network virtual machine virtual memory so for example virtual memory let's take this example so in virtual memory what happens you don't have each of the processes sees their memory starting from 1 to till 100 okay something like that so each of them sees their memory like this but actually the memory is from let's say 1 to 1000 and there are 10 users but what you do you maintain one interface here okay based on which you know that okay user 1 so if he is writing he will be allocated from 1 to 100 user 2 will be allocated 101 to 200 so now even if he is thinking that he is writing line number 5 but it will be actually written in line number let's say 105 in the actual memory but he will think that he is writing in memory line number 5 so this is a kind of virtualization where he sees that okay his memory is also starting from 1 so this is virtualization and now we will see basically this slides are taken from vmware example so just for explanation and i thank them for that so let's see a physical machine so now what is virtualization in terms of an operating system so there is a physical machine okay so your physical machine you have cpu central processing unit which does all the work your memory where you store your information your data your output instructions text network interface card you have you have disks okay so these are your physical hardware processors chipset memory input output devices buses and physical resources are often underutilized so that is the problem most of the time when you see how much is your resources being utilized on your personal computer you will see that your cpu utilization is five percent ten percent and so on okay which is very less so now if you are utilizing only that amount of your resources it's very much underutilized and the, this is the case that most of the time your utilization of your resources is very less so what is there and why is this problem because your hardware is tightly coupled with your software with your operating system all hardwares are having one-to-one -one mapping single active os image os controls the hardware okay so that's the problem only one os is there which is controlling the cpu memory and so on so very few people are there so resource utilization is very less what can be done so here comes the idea of virtualization a virtual machine so instead of just having uh, let's say okay so what has happened so let's say we have a hardware level abstraction so you can see this now so cpu your memory is there okay your nic disk now what i do instead we saw here till now that there was operating system was coming here we remove it add one abstraction layer here virtualization layer now what happens there is this big blocks of nic these are huge powerful hardware but now what i do i divide them into two parts okay so this you have virtual machines here this is one virtual machine this is another virtual machine they have their operating system so these are now 
not the physical hardware they are virtual hardware okay and but your operating system still he will think that okay they are real hardware okay so that is the beauty the operating system here when it is trying to access the network interface card it will see here this nic which is a virtual nic which if you ask him that okay send mail send some uh, fetch me some web file he will contact this virtual nic which in turn will call the actual nic but now this actual nic is being shared by another operating system also and here in this virtual machine you can have a linux on this virtual machine you can have windows okay so these operating systems are also now running as applications and inside that they are thinking that okay they are very fine they are running on a physical machine but actually they are running on a virtual machine so virtual virtualization software extra level of indirection is added indirection means you are not directly accessing but accessing through some virtual device and that are your cpu so that is also now virtual when it is actually let's say you have 100% utilization so 50% of cpu cycles will be given to let's say this one the first uh, the second vm and 50 cpu cycles out of 100 will be given to first vm now but if he is utilizing 25 cycles out of those 50 so he has got 50% utilization and if this vm is not using at all so in fact total utilization is just 25% but because of this virtualization he will he knows that okay this is 50% utilization okay so they they are all kind of different okay so these hardwares are divided now into two operating systems and in fact you can have any number of operating systems so multiplexes physical hardware across multiple guest virtual machines and these virtual machines are very much isolated okay so that's there now let's try to see so secure multiplexing what is multiplexing now let's try to see so multiplexing means that a same resource let's say your nic is there okay so your cpu let's say and four vms are there vm1 vm2 vm3 and vm4 so they are all using your cpu and those vms will be multiplexed so for a four parts out of one second 0.25 second will be given to vm1 point next 0.25 second to vm2 then to vm3 then to vm4 the last 0.25 seconds something like this so secure multiplexing run vms on single physical host process hardware isolates vms so processor hardware basically isolates the virtual machine and it also provides strong guarantees like what happens if one by one virtual machine let's say one operating system crashes it is infected by virus and so on other virtual machines will not get infected and performance isolation so partition system resources so system resources are all partitioned and then what happens is these are partitioned so they have their own limit share that how much cpu this can utilize how much there will be reserve resource reservations for them okay and so on so this is a beautiful concept and it increases the basically the resource utilization why because of the statistical multiplexing nature so i know that even in fact so most of them let let's say i have five virtual machines and all of them are running so more, many times what happens some virtual machines might not be running so let's say three virtual machines are running so they will be utilizing the resources efficiently so i will be providing virtual machines and i will have some statistical calculation based on which i will know that okay if i have this amount of hardware i can allow five virtual machines or 10 virtual machines and so on so this is there so performance so now what happens entire vm is basically a file so you can take your virtual machine anywhere okay and then you put on there and it will start on any hardware okay so you can have snapshots of your virtual machine and then what happens so capture vm state on a fly and restore it to some point of time so this is there 
and then it is hardware independent that is very important thing now because you have a layer of abstraction so whatever hardware is there let's say nic if i have nic so what happens now this virtualization will allow different kinds of nic to work with different operating system so there is a decoupling so decoupling helps a lot because then you can for any hardware you can run your applications there so create any time and run anywhere so you create a virtual machine and then you can run it on any hardware okay so you can run it so parallel ports serial ports cd dvd floppy disks all these are shared by your different virtual machines ethernet card sound card video card so lot of hardwares are there so they are all shared so now let's try to see so some of the common utilizations run legacy software on non legacy hardware run multiple operating systems on same hardware create manageable upgrade path okay so manage outages so lot of things are there and now common virtualization today so in data centers so when some some request comes so there are let's say so many computers are there hardware so now your virtual machine can be start of the hardware that is not busy right now okay so what are the so if there is a non virtualized data center so very little utilization of cpu uses and so on and high costs of networking is there maintenance you have one machine for one basically operating system so lot of floor space required cooling power everything is required but dynamic data center virtualization helps us break the one service per server so you can consolidate many servers into a fewer number of machines so on those machines itself i know by statistical nature that not all people will be simultaneously using the resources so i know out of 100 people so only 60 people are present concurrently concurrently so i will have resource for 60% and i know they will be using and that much will be my 100% utilization so that is there i think about the virtual machine but there are a few what are the drawbacks so we saw a lot of good things about virtual machine some of the drawbacks what are the drawbacks so let's try to just see the figure of virtual machine okay so let's try to see the figure so what can be your drawbacks everything goodies i told so that bad thing about the virtual machines are you have applications operating system so there will be a lot of latency and delay so for example now to access the cpu memory so you need to first call your virtualization layer will you have to interact with the virtualization layer that in turn will now what it will do this will call the real physical hardware and make system calls there and then only it will run so there is a new layer so it will cause some delay so i hope you understand what is the virtualization and how it helps us along with the problem it has so i hope you understand this thanks a lot